Hello there, it's day 2, week 5 of our lesson, and today, we will have risk assessment. For the learning objectives, at the end of the learning period, you should be able to differentiate risk from hazard, analyze the process of assessing risk, and share the importance of doing a risk assessment. Now for your pre-test, Read the questions carefully and encircle the letter of the correct answer on your module. Pause the video when answering and play the video when you're done. Number 1. What term is used to describe something that can cause potential or unavoidable harm? A. Pain B. Risk C. Hazard or D. Effect It's C. Hazard Number 2. What term is used to describe the chance or probability that a person will be harmed? A. Pain B. Risk C. Hazard or D. Effect It's B. Risk Number 3. What is not considered as a factor that influences the degree of risk? A. How much a person is exposed to a hazardous thing or condition? B. How the person is exposed. C. How severe are the effects under the conditions of exposure. And letter D. How many people will be affected. Letter D. No. Number 4. What is not included in the process of risk assessment? A. Identify the hazard. B. Number of areas to be evaluated. C. Analyze or evaluate the risk. Or D. Ways to eliminate or control the hazard. Letter B. Number of areas to be evaluated. Number 5. What is called the change in body function or the structures of cells that can lead to disease or health problems? A. Adverse health effect. B. Lifespan effect. C. Disease effect or D. Body function effect Letter A. Adverse health effect Now for the review of your previous lesson, read the statement carefully and arrange the letters to reveal the answer. Pause the video when answering and play the video when you're done. Number 1. A term used to describe something that can cause harm. Hazard Number 2. A type of hazard that is also known as work stressor. Psychological Number 3. A type of hazard that can be in solid, liquid, or gas that can harm the health of a person. Chemical Number 4. A type of hazard that causes musculoskeletal injuries such as repetitive movement. Ergonomics. Number 5. A type of hazard that is caused by the lack of machine guards. Safety. And number 6. A type of hazard that is caused by microorganisms. Biological Again, our lesson for today is about risk assessment. But first, let us differentiate hazards and risk. Hazards are something that can cause potential or unavoidable harm. On the other hand, risk is the chance or probability that a person will be harmed. Now let's talk about the factors that influence the degree of risk. First is how much a person is exposed to a hazardous thing or condition. Is a person exposed to all types of hazards? Second, how the person is exposed. Is it through skin contact or through breathing? Third, how severe are the effects under the conditions of exposure? 
How high is the level of damage when an accident happened? Now, what is risk assessment? Risk assessment is the process of determining hazards. In this step, you identify hazards, you will list all the hazards present in the area. Risk assessment is also the process of analysis or the risk assessment itself. You will write the possible effect of the hazard you listed. Then, risk assessment is also the ways to monitor or remove hazards. These are the precautions taken to improve safety. Now look at the picture closely. We will do a risk assessment from here. Now the first step again is identifying hazards. Let's have an example. I can identify one which is this one slips or wet floors. What will be the risk of having wet floors or slips? It can cause head injury. Now what we can do about it is to wipe water spills immediately. Did you get it? Now let's have another example. Second, this one, germs and bacteria build up from unclean tools. It can cause stomach ache if we eat a food from that unclean tools. Now, what we can do about it is to wash tools every after use and keep them in their storage. Another example is one fire because there is a water on the toaster's board. Okay, this one, as you can see, and it's still plugged in. So, what will be the effect of fire? Evaluating the risk. It can cause burns. So, for the safety measures, always organize electrical cords and keep water away from them. Now, do you understand the process of doing risk assessment? Very good. Now let's talk about adverse health effect. Adverse health effect is any change in body function or the structures of cells that can lead to disease or health problems. Damage to the body. Illness. Development in the body. Impact on the formation of cutus. We also have effects on babies, grandchildren, and so on. Decrease in solvent lifespan and impact on the ability to deal with stress. Now let's have the first part of your activity. Answer the questions about the lesson. Pause the video while doing the activity and play the video when you're done. Number 1. What is the difference between risk and hazard? Risk is the chance that a person will be harmed, while hazard is something that can cause harm. Number 2. What is risk assessment? Risk assessment is the process of identifying hazard, evaluating the risk, and identifying ways to eliminate or control hazards. Second part of your activity is analyze the picture and do a risk assessment. Pause the video while doing this activity and play the video when you're done. Now this will be the picture that you will do a risk assessment on. I will be presenting the possible answers for this activity. Answers may vary per student. Number 1. Electrocution for hazard. Risk is seizures. Safety measure is organized electrical cords. Number 2. Hazard. 
garbage bin, wreath, stomach problems, safety measures, cover garbage bins. Number 3. Slip from water spill, wrist is head injury, safety measure is wipe immediately spilled water. 4. Open chemical cabinet, evaluating the risk, respiratory disease, safety measures, keep the cabinets closed at all times. Last, cigarette, risk is burns, and safety me measure is put out cigarette butts immediately and throw it properly. To wrap it up, you will do a risk assessment again, but this time in the different areas of your house. Specify the area where you found the hazard. Look at our example below. We have hazards, slips from wet floors, and you've identified that hazard in the kitchen area. Then we have the risk and the safety measures. Pause the video and work on your activity and play the video when you're done. This will be the format of your activity. For the valuing part, you will do simili me. Analyze the quotation and complete the sentence. Risk assessment is like the quotation, failing to plan is planning to fail because Pause the video and work on your activity. Play the video when you're done. Let's check what you've learned today. Read the questions carefully and write your answers on the space provided on your module. Pause the video when answering and play the video when you're done. Number 1. What term is used to describe something that can cause potential or unavoidable harm? Hazard. Number 2. What term is used to describe the chance or probability that a person will be harmed? Risk. Number 3. What are the factors that influence the degree of risk? First, how much a person is exposed to a hazardous thing or condition? Second, how the person is exposed? And third, how severe are the effects under the conditions of exposure? Number four, what are the processes involved in risk assessment? Identify the hazard, analyze or evaluate the risk, and ways to eliminate or control the hazard. Number five, what is called the change in body function or the structures of cells that can lead to disease or health problems. Adverse health effect. Good job for today. I'll see you again tomorrow. Take care and God bless.